Hello everyone, myself Dr. Ranjit Kumar Gatla, working as an associate professor in the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering. So in today, uh, I am going to discuss about uh, how to find or what, what is average and RMS value and, and also the form factor and peak factor of the various periodic waveforms. In the previous class, uh, we have already discussed about uh, what are the various periodic waveforms and uh, how to identify the time period of the particular periodic waveforms and all. And also we have discussed uh, what, how to calculate the average value and RMS values uh, for uh, various uh, uh, periodic waveforms. So in today's class, uh, we are going to discuss about in detail. So based on the, the standard equations for the average and RMS value. So how to find the average and RMS value and also the form factor and peak factor for the various periodic waveforms. So before going to uh, find uh, the periodic waveforms of the or the average and RMS values of the various periodic waveforms. So first uh, let us again uh, just recall uh, what is the average value and what is RMS value. So as we know the average value it is nothing but uh, the, uh, or the average value of an alternating waveform or any periodic waveform can be determined by taking the arithmetic mean of the ordinates at equal intervals of the off cycles of that particular waveform. So, which means here, let us consider this is a sine wave. So, for this sine wave, if you take uh, the values at the equal intervals for this particular off waveform, so let us consider the values at each point is V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6 and so on up to Vn, then the average value of that particular waveform which is V average is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 and so on vn by n and by simplifying this so i mean here if you write uh, the average value of a periodic waveform in terms of the functions then f average is equal to 1 by t integral 0 to 2 into f of t into dt so here these f of t represents the equation for various periodic waveforms so suppose if it is a sine wave then f of t will become vm sin omega t because the sine wave usually represent by the equation of vm sin omega t. So otherwise if it is a square wave then again uh, based on the shape of that square wave okay so we usually uh, for the square wave the equation because that is a constant wave because uh, the values of that wave will not change with uh, respect to the time because the value is always constant so that's why we usually consider the vm right. So like that here we can find the average value or uh, value of any periodic waveform by using this equation. So this is very important. So V average is equal to 1 by t into integral 0 to into f of t into dt. So here this t represents the total time period of that particular waveform or the time period which we need to consider to find the average value of that particular waveform. And here this integral limits represents the conduction period of the waveform. Okay, so from which point to which point the uh, what is that the particular waveform will conduct? So that is, that it is represents these integrals, right? Then the RMS value of an periodic waveform. So there are many definitions for that RMS value of an periodic waveforms. So we have already gone through these uh, definitions. No, so now we can directly get into. Uh, how to find the RMS value, that equation for that RMS value, which is F RMS is equal to square root of 1 by T into integral T, integral 0 to T, F of T square into DT. Okay, so just a square root, okay, a root means square. So here, this is because here it is, uh, suppose if it is a power waveform, then I square R, I mean I1 square plus R plus I2 square R and so on, I N square R by N. And if you apply the whole to the power of 1 by 2, okay, then we can get the equation for the uh, RMS value of an any periodic waveform. So by using this equation, we can find then again the RMS value of an any periodic waveform. So here also this T represents the time period of the particular waveform and here the integral limits represents the conduction period of the waveform, right. So now we are going to the actual uh, topic and before going to that, uh, how to find the form factor and peak factor? Of course, the, there are two equations to find the form factor and peak factor because uh, we have already we, we already discussed how to find the average value and RMS value, and we already know uh, how to um, uh, you, I mean how to indicate or how to find uh, the maximum or the peak value also. 
So here, then the form factor is equal to RMS value by the average value. So once we find the average and RMS value, by using these two values, we can find the form factor. Then the peak factor, it is defined as the ratio of the peak value to the RMS value of the waveform. So the peak value we can find for any particular waveform. We know already how to find the peak value and which value is called as a peak value that we have discussed in the uh, previous class. So then peak factor A is peak value by the RMS value. So by using these two equations, we can find uh, the form factor and peak factor. Right now we are going to find the RMS average form factor and peak factor for the various periodic waveforms which we were discussed in the previous class. So first let us consider a sine, uh, a pure sine wave. So now we are going to find the average value of that particular sine wave. So for this uh, here, first let us indicate the, uh, what is that, uh, the time period. So we know as, as usually here, this, this represents the voltage. Let us consider this is a voltage axis and this is, uh, uh, represents the time. So here, this is 0, pi, 2 pi and 3 pi and 4 pi, something like that. Right. So here, then the total time period of this particular waveform is 0 to pi. So usually the time period for this particular waveform, it is because we already discussed how to find the time period of a particular waveform, right? So here the total time period for this particular waveform is 2 pi because as you can see from 0 to 2 pi, okay, uh, the same cycle is repeating for every 2 pi of the time period because 0 to 2 pi, one positive and one negative cycle is there. And again, 2 pi to 4 pi, because again, the difference between 2 pi to 4 pi, again, 2 pi. So in, in this region also, whatever the waveform, uh, which we are getting from 0 to 2 pi, the same waveform is repeating from 2 pi to 4 pi. Again, from 4 pi to 6 pi, again, the same waveform will repeat. So that's why here the time period is 2 pi, which means the time taken to complete one full cycle is called as a time period of that particular waveform. But here the average value, if you take, if you want to find the average value, because as we know, the equation uh, for the average value is f of f average is equal to 1 by t into integral 0 to 2 into f of t into dt. So here this t represents the total time period. Okay. And here these limits represents uh, the conduction period. But if you take a symmetrical waveform with respect to the x axis, then the average value of that particular waveform is 0. Because as you can see here, these all are the positive values and here these are all the negative values. Okay. So let us consider because this positive waveform and negative waveform is symmetrical with respect to this x axis. So here let us consider if you find the average value of this positive waveform is let us consider some, uh, some value, uh, uh, x, okay, plus x. And here this is symmetrical to the x axis. I mean, uh, the same uh, positive uh, cycle. So then it will be minus x. Okay, by 2, then 0 by 2 is 0. So that's why if it is a waveform which is symmetrical to x axis, okay, the positive and negative values, then in this case, we should consider the time period is only the half of that particular waveform, which means here the pi. So which means here we are going to find the average value of this particular half cycle only. Then here the total time period that we should consider is not the 2 pi. So we should consider it is the pi. Right. And one more thing when coming to the limits here 0 to t. Okay. So we are considering only this part. So that's why here the limits also from 0 to pi only. So then this equation will become V average is equal to. So here the time period that we are considered as a pi. So I hope everybody understood why uh, we have considered the time period uh, pi instead of the two pi, right? Because this uh, waveform is symmetrical with respect to x axis. So which means the positive and negative cycle are symmetrical to each other. So that's why then if you find uh, the average value of this full cycle, you will get zero. So that's why instead of that, we are finding the average value for the only half cycle. So for the half cycle, the time period is 0 to pi only. So that's why here the time period that we have considered is 1 by pi, right? Then when coming to the limits here, the 0 to pi, you are getting the waveform conduction. So that's why here the limits that we are taking uh, 0 to pi. And here in f of t, we are taking the sine wave equation, which is Vm sine omega t into d omega t or in another words, Vm sine theta. So 
here then substitute in in the place of f of t as a vm sin theta and in the place of d of t here because in the in the place of t here we are considering theta so that's why vm sin theta into d theta then this is very simple integration okay just uh, apply the integration for the sin theta into d theta then it will be minus cos theta then substitute the limits from 0 to pi then if you simplify then we will get the equation v average equation is equal to 2 vm by pi if you simplify this one we will get the v average equation v average value is 2 vm by pi so here vm is the the peak value here it is the vm right here it is the vm which is the peak value so this is how we can find the average value of the sinusoidal waveform then now coming to the the rms value of the sinusoidal waveform so of course here for the rms value also we are getting the same thing again but here rms value we can consider the full waveform because it is not like that in the average value so that's why here the total time period for this particular rms value that we are considering is t is equal to 2 by pi then substitute the value of the then substitute the vrms is equal to okay so again here in place of t here we have substituted 2 pi and and the time i mean uh, what is that the uh, conduction period is again 0 to 2 pi because 0 to pi it is positive and pi to 2 pi also we are having the conduction period so that's why 0 to 2 pi and vm into sin omega t time sin t time to uh, sin theta whole square into d theta then again apply the integral for this sin sin theta square uh, then before going to apply the integral here we are just writing the sin theta square is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 then we are applying the integral for this uh, 1 minus cos 2 theta and if you simplify this then you will get v rms value is equal to v m by rho 2 okay so now v average is equal to 2 v m by pi and v rms is equal to v m by rho 2 now we are going to find form factor and feed factor so for the form factor here here uh, for the form factor rms value by average value so here rms value is vm by root 2 and average value is 2 vm by pi so here vm by root 2 into by 2 vm by pi means so so here uh, this is vm by root 2 which is rms value by average value is 2 vm by pi then here this vm vm gets cancelled then if you simplify this value will be become 1.11 which is the form factor of a uh, sinusoidal waveform then when coming to the peak factor so here the peak factor the peak value by rms value so here peak value is vm and rms value just now we have calculated which is vm by root 2 okay then here vm vm gets cancelled then you will get a uh, uh, root 2 so the value of root 2 is 1.414 so this is way we can find the peak factor for the sinusoidal waveform so form factor and the peak factor right now next uh, we are going to find the average value of the of the half waveform because here as you can see here you don't have the negative cycle so during the negative uh, i mean during this period here uh, what is that the value is zero the voltage value is zero so for this particular waveform then how to find the uh, what is that uh, RM average and RMS value so first let us discuss about the average value again here also the same way uh, V of t is equal to Vm sin omega t or uh, Vm sin uh, theta so again here also it is 0 and here it is pi and here it is 2 pi then 3 pi and here it is 4 pi so in this case again the, the time period as you can see here uh, because in the previous case we have considered the time period I mean R for this yeah here the time period that we have considered as a only pi but here we can consider up to 2 pi because here this axis is I mean this waveform is not symmetrical with x axis because here it is uh, uh, positive values is there and here it is zero value is there so that's why instead of considering 0 to pi the time period here you can consider 0 to 2 pi because in the previous case the positive and negative cycle are symmetrical with each other so if you take the total time period is 0 to 2 pi then you will get the average value as 0 
So to avoid that, we have considered only the positive cycle the time period. But here it is the, it, it is totally different from the previous case. Here there is no negative cycle, and the positive and negative cycle are not symmetrical because during the positive cycle the the waveform is conducting, but during the I mean pi to two pi it is not conducting because the value is zero. So that's why here you can take the total time period in this case is two pi. Okay, but in this two pi. Okay, when coming to the limit zero to t, so from zero to pi here the value is v m sine omega t because it is getting conducting. But from pi to two pi it is zero, so that's why from pi to two pi we are considering this f of t as a zero. Or in another words, here this we can write it as one by here uh, t means again here two uh, pi and limits here zero to pi it is conducting. Uh, which means this is f of t into dt plus because the total time period we have to take and from pi to two pi it is zero so that's why we can neglect this one directly we can consider only this value fine now yes the v average is equal to one by t here t is the total time period two pi and the limits from zero to pi it is conducting so that's why v m sine theta into d theta plus from pi to two pi it is not there is uh, no conduction. Of that waveform, it is zero, so that's why zero into d theta, right? Then, if you simplify this, then you will get uh, v average is equal to v m by pi. As you can see, when you compare with the full cycle and half cycle, for the full cycle it was two v m by pi, okay. But for the half cycle, because the remaining half is not conducting, it is zero, so that's why here you are getting v m by pi, right? Next. Uh, We are going to find uh, the RMS value and uh, form factor, peak factor of this particular waveform. So the same way here, uh, the V of t is again V m sine omega t, and we know the standard equation for the V RMS that is square root of one by t into integral zero uh, to t f of t whole square into dt. Then here substitute f of t. Of course, here also again the time period is here. There is zero. Pi two pi, so the total time period is two pi. The same equation that we are writing here. So V R M S is equal to one by two pi integral. Uh, uh, what is that? Zero to pi V M sine theta whole square into d t plus zero. Then simplify this equation. Same like the before here. The sine square theta we can write it as a one minus cos two theta by two, and apply the integrals for this particular equation with the limits of zero to pi. If you simplify, then you will get you are getting V M by two. Okay, so you are getting V M by two. Then now we are going to find form factor and peak factor. So for that, already we have calculated the average value and R M S value. Then first we are going to find the form factor. Form factor is equal to R M S value by average value. So here R M S value is V M by two, and the average value is V M by pi. Then here V M V M gets cancelled. Then if we simplify this, then you will get one point five seven, which is the form factor for the given waveform. Then, when coming to the peak factor here, the peak factor is equal to peak value by RMS value. So here, peak value is VM again, and the RMS value is VM by two. So VM VM gets cancelled. Then you will get the value of two. So for this half waveform, the form factor is one point five seven, and the peak factor is two. The next waveform that we are considering is a, of course, again a full waveform, but here it, it, it don't have any uh, negative. a uh, cycle so then how to find the average value of this particular waveform so again here the equation v of t is again it it resembles like the sine wave so that's why here uh, f of t is equal to v of t is equal to vm sin theta and vm sin theta and again here let us consider here 0 pi 2 pi 3 pi so first we need to identify the Total time period of this particular waveform. Then the total time period of this particular waveform is pi. Why? Because after pi, okay, the cycle is the similar cycle is repeating. So that's why here the total time period is this one, which is pi. Then the time period here it is pi. Then again substitute here one by t means one by pi. Okay, into integral zero to t. Of course, here zero to pi it is conducting. So zero to pi v m sin theta into d theta, right? Then simplify this equation as usually, uh, like in the previous cases. Then you will get v average is equal to two v m by pi. 
the same equation which you got because in the previous case for the full sine wave okay one full cycle one half cycle i mean one positive cycle and one negative cycle so in that case also we got the v average is equal to 2 vm by pi and here also we are getting the equation 2 vm by pi then now we are going to find the rms value of course for the rms value also here the time period is same okay just to substitute again uh, in this uh, standard equation which is square root of 1 by t into uh, integral 0 to t f of t whole square into d2 then substitute here okay then simplify this equation then you will get v rms is equal to vm by root 2 so now we have calculated v rms that which is vm by root 2 and v rms which is 2 vm by pi then now we are going to find the form factor and peak factor for the form factor rms value by average value then substitute rms and average value in this equation then you will get 1.1 this value is same like as the full waveform that we have considered in the first case and similarly the peak factor also peak value by rms value so peak value is vm and rms value is just now we have calculated this is vm by root 2 so here vm vm gets cancelled then you will get root 2 so the value of the root 2 is 1.44 so this value is also same as like in the previous case the first case which we have considered for the the full sine wave right so this is the way to find rms and average value of the various waveforms so until now we have considered only the uh, sine waveforms in uh, with uh, various conditions okay but now we are going to find uh, the average value of a uh, square waveform okay other than sine then how to find the rms value of a the various waveforms so if you consider it is a sine waveform i mean it is a square waveform but here the equation because as we know here the uh, what is that the equation for this average value is equal to v average which is equal to uh, 1 by t into integral 0 to t f of t into dt. So, this we need to know here for this particular waveform because p, p in, in the previous three cases we have considered the sine wave only. So, that is why the, in, the, in that case f of t we have uh, written as vm sine theta into d theta. But here it is not the sine wave, it, here it is a square wave because for the sine wave the instantaneous values of the sine wave is uh, changes with respect to the time but here it is not like that because here as you can see uh, 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 during this period okay so the magnitude is always same which is constant let us consider here it is vm so vm is constant okay i mean at every instant of time here the value is vm only okay and here also let us consider here it is 0 pi 2 pi and 3 pi and 4 pi okay so here also uh, then here the v i mean uh, the f of t here it is only the vm because this is the constant value that's what we have to consider okay so f of t or v of t is equal to vm right then here what is the time period again here it is a positive cycle and here it is the negative cycle okay so if you consider the total time period 0 to 2 pi again you will get the zero value because the positive and negative gets each other cancel each other so that's why here again the time period that we should consider as a pi then here substitute v average is equal to 1 by t here the total time period is pi integral 0 to pi because from 0 to pi and the equation for this f of t or v of t is equal to vm into d theta then apply the integral here take the vm as a common okay vm by pi then if you apply the integral for this theta you will get theta uh, which means here you will get theta with the limits of 0 to pi so which means you will get pi minus 0 this equation so which means here it is pi so that is the value of the pi then here the pi pi gets cancelled then here the v average is equal to vm so for a for a square wave the v average is equal to vm right now we are going to find a the rms value form factor and the peak factor then rms value again of course here v of t is equal to vm and this is the equation for the rms value then substitute here of course here it is the, the, the time period you can consider a time period as pi or 2 pi okay in both the cases you will get the same answer okay don't get confused again uh, because for the sine wave we have considered the time period for the rms value is 2 pi okay but here we are considering for the square wave only pi but even though instead of pi okay if you can also take the 2 pi value if you can if you take the 2 pi value also you will get the same answer okay you can try so here then v rms is equal to square root of 1 by pi into integral 0 to pi into vm square into dt if you simplify this then you will get the equation that v rms is equal to also vm so for this particular sine wave sorry for this particular square wave 
So the V RMS value and as well as the V average value both are same. So which means if you want to find the form factor and peak factor, you will get only one for the for both cases, right? Because here RMS is VM by VM, right? So one and in this case also again VM by VM, okay? So which means here it is also one. So this is very easy to remember. So what is the value of the or what is the average and RMS value of the square wave, which means VM. Okay, and what is the form factor and peak factor of the uh, square wave, which is 1. Fine. So, this is how uh, we can find uh, the RMS and average value of the square wave. So, other than the sine wave. Now, of course, this is square wave. Then we are going for another kind of waveform. Let us consider it is a triangular wave. So, for this triangular wave, then how to find the average and RMS value? So, here again, uh, the equation is same, uh, which is F average, which is equal to 1 by t into integral 0 to t vm sorry 0 to t f of t into dt right so here again this waveform is different than the previous uh, four, uh, the three or four cases that's why here also we have to find the f of t value okay so what is the equation for this particular square wave of course here also this is positive and this is negative so that's why here the total time period that we can take from 0 and this let us consider this is pi and this is 2 pi, right. But here if you can see here, let us consider here it is pi by 2. So before pi by 2 and after pi by 2, the slope of the line is same, but only here it is incremental and here it is decremental. That is the only difference, okay. So that's why here the total time period that we can consider as a 0 to pi by 2 only for this particular triangular waveform. Then 0 to, I mean, high and here it is, let us consider Vm, right, okay. So then uh, Vm or Vft, whatever it may be. Then here, uh, now find the slope of this particular line from 0 to pi by 2. So as we know how to uh, write the equation or how to find the slope of this particular waveform, okay, uh, which is the equation is uh, y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 is equal to x minus x1 by x2 minus x1 okay so here the value is here it is 0 comma 0 and here the value is the x value is pi by 2 okay and y value is vm right here the pi by 2 and the y value is vm then if you substitute uh, i mean because here it is y is equal to uh, what is the y axis here v of t okay minus here this is uh, let us consider here it is x1 y1 and x2 y2 okay then substitute here y1 is again 0 by y2 minus y1 so vm uh, minus 0 which is equal to x is here it is uh, x is t because this axis is t so t minus x1 uh, here x1 is 0 by x2 here it is pi by 2 minus 0 then if you simplify this then you will get uh, v of t is equal to rf of r f of t is equal to 2 vm t by pi 2 vm t by pi this is what you will get if you simplify this equation right so now uh, that f of t or v of t now we have cal we have uh, calculated or we found the equation for this uh, particular triangular waveform then after this again it is the same procedure to find the average and rms value so again then average value is equal this is the equation and here the time period that we have considered is pi by 2 then substitute these values v average is equal to 1 by pi by 2 integral 0 to pi by 2 2 vm by uh, 2 vm into t by pi into dt okay so anyway here these 2 vm by pi is the constant values okay only the t into dt is the variables then uh, just uh, apply the integrals for that okay the t into dt then uh, you will get if you simplify because here these mm, uh, how how what you will get here pi by 2 into uh, what is that uh, uh, pi by 2 minus 0 that you will get okay then here after simplifying this then v average is equal to that you will get vm by 2 then similarly we can find the rms value for that rms value of course the equation here it is again same for this particular square wave okay and here it is the rms value and again the time period that you can consider of course 
as I told you, because here instead of pi by 2, if you consider 2 pi also, you will get the same answer, right? Then substitute uh, the values in this equation and after simplifying this, then you will get Vm by root 3. So here the V average is equal to Vm by root 2 and V RMS is equal to Vm by root 3. Sorry, Vm by 2 and Vm by root 3. And Vm by root 3. Then now the form factor which is equal to RMS by average value. So RMS value we know and RMA, uh, average value we know. So if you simplify this then you will get 1.15 and similarly the peak factor that we can get is 1.73. So like this we can find even though uh, this is uh, the what is that um, any waveform that you can find okay the sawtooth waveform or any other waveform that you can find uh, uh, the same way okay so the only thing is first uh, you should identify the time period of that particular waveform and based on that uh, you should uh, you can you, you have to uh, derive the equation for that particular waveform so here because in the previous case i mean and for the sine wave you know already we have derived the equation for the sine wave that is the standard which is vm sin omega t into d omega t but for the square wave it is uh, it was vm and but for the uh, triangular wave it is different because here uh, the slope uh, okay i mean um, by finding the slope equation or by using the slope equation we have uh, derived the equation for that particular waveform so that equation we have used to instead of this f of t so that is the way to find the rms average okay our peak file peak factor and uh, form factor of a any periodic waveforms right thank you in the next class we will discuss the next topic thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates